What is up YouTube? It's Jake with Exploit Academy. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily find rapid fire in any first person shooter game using Cheat Engine. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so of course the first thing we're going to have to do is attach Cheat Engine to the process we're trying to hack or the game for example. In my case I have Assault Cube, so if I go to the process list here, go down to the window tab and click Assault Cube and click open, we are now attached to the game. I'm going to start off with the first method I'm going to show you in this video. There are actually two methods, but the first method if you scan for the ammo value and browse the memory region near it, in most first person shooter games you usually find the rate of fire in that relative area of your ammo. And the second method I'm going to show you is how you can find it by just scanning when you're firing and when you're not firing so you can find the rate of fire adjusting accordingly to that. So of course to get started I have 20 rounds in my gun so if I scan for 20 and do a first scan I have 2000 dresses. If I fire a couple rounds I have 15. Come up here scan for 15. Next scan drop this dress down and to verify this is my ammo dress I'm gonna change it to 500 and there we go so I got 500 rounds so the first method is using the memory viewer so if you right click that ammo dress and go down to browse this memory region you'll see something like this on your screen now what I do is I watch this as I fire my gun so if I come over here and I move around you can see the address is changing in red now the addresses that are in red are values that are changing anytime I move around or just do anything in general if it's red it's changing value so you can see when I fire my gun we have a few dresses that are changing so what I'm looking for is something that is zero and going up when I shoot but goes back down to zero when I'm not shooting so for example if I fire my gun we have a couple dresses over here you can see are not staying at zero and just change every time I shoot. These two addresses down here are going from zero to a higher number and back down to zero. So I'm interested in those two addresses. So, all right, so now if I go back to Cheat Engine here and take that address by clicking the, the spot it's at, right click and go down to add address to the list and click OK, fire a couple rounds so I can see the other address here. Go back to Cheat Engine, right click that spot, and go to add address to the list as well. Then now we can close this memory viewer, and we should have two addresses on our list. Now, again, you can fire and look at the value that's changing to. So we have one address that is going from 0 and 1, and another address that changes from 0 to 120. So let's try locking in place that first address that changes from 0 to 1. Okay, that's interesting. So. I'm actually holding down my button on my mouse and it's making my machine gun semi-automatic. So it's almost like the exact opposite. That's pretty neat. I didn't know you could do that. And so now when I'm going to lock in my other dress and there we go. So now we have rapid fire. So it seems like the rate of fire is changing to 120. So you might be able to modify this to say, let's try 100. And then it seems like it's firing a little bit faster, but it's still not rapid fire. So you can tell now if we lock it in place, it's almost, it's locked in zero, which I'm assuming in this game is just, there's no gap between each round. It just fires as much as it can. So, so pretty cool, pretty neat. This works on most first person shooter games. Now for the second method I'm going to show you is how to scan for that value. If you cannot find it that way, uh, you can do this other method, which is firing the gun and then scanning, not firing, scanning again, and finding the values that change between those two. So to do that, of course, I'm going to do a new scan. I'm going to get rid of my three addresses here and start fresh. So, and I recommend setting your hotkeys for this. If you don't know how to do that, just go to edit settings and hotkeys and then select the increase value and decrease value, put whatever you want for those. Okay. So, all right. So to get started, I'm going to do an unknown initial value and first scan. So now I'm going to fire my gun and while I'm firing my gun, I'm going to search for an increase value. And while I'm not firing my gun, I'm going to search for a decrease value. So firing my gun, increase value, not firing my gun, decrease value. Firing my gun, increase value, not firing my gun, decrease value. 
And now I'm going to search for unchanged value and hold that down for a little bit. Because I'm not firing my gun so my value hasn't changed. It should still be zero whatever number it's set at. So now again, of course, fire my gun, increase value, stop, decrease value. And again, I'm going to search for an unchanged value. And there we go. I'm narrowing down pretty quick. Okay, there we go. It seems I stopped at 22 addresses here. Now, if I go back here, I'm going to drop all these addresses down and fire my gun. And now you just saw the address it was. It was 0 to 120. Of course, now you would normally go through these addresses and test which ones uh, work for you. But, of course, you can see here this address specifically. If I go ahead and delete all these around it we have the address right there. If I lock that address in place, fire, we have our rapid fire address. So those are the two methods you can use to find rapid fire. It's the most common methods. It's not technical. It's just using addresses. Of course, you can go to assembly and uh, no op some instructions to get the same, uh, same result. But if for beginners and novices and for people that are just starting making hacks with coding, this is an easy way to do it. So thank you guys for watching. If you found this video useful please like subscribe to my channel for more and i'll see you next time